Hey, hey, POD Ninjas, Joe Robert here. Have a little bit of a different uh, video for you in the sense where I'm gonna be showing you five uh, print-on-demand designs that I actually created and uh, tried to sell. And throughout the video, your goal is to watch it and let me know which one you think is the one that is the best seller. I'm going to reveal to you which one is the best seller at the end. One of these designs sold over $10,000 worth uh, in sales. And you guys are going to see five different designs and you're going to let me know in the comments as you're watching it, which one you think uh, is the best. And no cheating, don't fast forward to the end and hear me say what, what, which one it was and then uh, drop your guess in as if you were guessing correctly, right? We're gonna jump into it right after this. All right, guys, what's up? Joe Robert here. I help people to start, grow, and scale print-on-demand stores on Shopify. And like I said, today, we're gonna be jumping into a pretty cool video. I think this is going to be fun. Like I said, as you're watching, comment which, uh, which design you think was the best seller, right? We're gonna jump into it right now. Here's the first design. This is a seat cover uh, for obviously the hunting niche, right? You guys have probably heard me talk about seat covers from time to time. This has been a go-to product for me for a very long time. You can get these from a few different print on demand apps. I have a whole bunch of stuff on YouTube uh, where I show the apps that you can get these from. I've even done reviews where I've actually shown uh, the actual product, like real product samples. But like I said, this is a seat cover, obviously in the hunting niche, it has some camouflage on the the butt part of the seat also on the back it has a nice picture of a deer with a with a gun target and then some text that says buck off you can also see the bright orange color that was included because within the hunting niche that is a, a color that is used a lot right when people wear really bright stuff uh, that is you know, typically something they wear to be able to be seen but anyway this is one of uh, the designs let me know if you think this one was the best seller in the comments here's our next design this is a cell phone wallet case. I actually, I actually have one uh, right here. This is uh, a, a cell phone wallet case from WC Fulfillment. These came out in about, I think, 2018, and I tried to sell, uh, I, I, tried, I did sell a bunch of them successfully, but I tried a whole bunch of different niches, a whole bunch with a bunch of different designs for this product here. Uh, pretty cool uh, little little product. If you guys want uh, me to do uh, a more in-depth review on this, let me know in the comments and I can. Uh, but this is in the mermaid niche. You can see uh, that I put some little gold uh, clasp looking things up in the top corners. Uh, that's printed. It's not actually there. You can even see some of that here on uh, the sample uh, up in the corners, right? Uh, and it's got a little little quote, right? It says, mermaid wishes and starfish kisses, right? Uh, mermaid niche cell phone wallet case. Let me know if you think this was the best seller or not. Uh, here is a, another seat cover. Like I said, I have been very into seat covers over the last few years. Uh, this product here is obviously for a veteran, uh, a United States military veteran. You can see it has USA flag. Uh, it has some, some text that says proud veteran and also has a USA eagle with some red, white, and blue feathers on it. Um, and then also like a carbon print, carbon fiber uh, stripe down, down the middle, right? Um, like I said, the seat cover is one that I've sold a lot of. You, like I said, uh, I have some reviews on the channel, on my YouTube channel as well, if you wanted to see more about this actual product, right? But let me know if you think this one was uh, the best the best seller, right? Here's the next one. It's another cell phone wallet case. This one is for people who like to hunt. You can see that it has a nice silhouette of a hunter. It also has a belt buckle down at the bottom. That is something that I've done on, on these products uh, quite a bit uh, to try to make it seem a little bit cooler, right? It's not an actual belt buckle. It's printed on there, um, but it's a nice little touch, right? And then it has the text that says, is it deer season yet? Uh, and like I said, with the silhouette of the hunter and a nice uh, sunset uh, hunting scene, uh, behind it, right? Like I said, let me know if you think this is the best seller. We also have this hat here, right? This is a really simple hat. This is uh, a snapback hat, obviously for the police niche, right? It says back the blue. It has a USA flag uh, with the blue stripe on it. 
sets, right? Really simple design, really viral type design, uh, and one uh, that you've probably seen before for uh, products like this. Let me know if you think this one was uh, the best seller. Let me go back through all of these designs here and let you guys sort of get uh, a little bit of a, of a recap here, right? So I showed you this one here. We also have the hunting cell phone wallet case. Uh, we have the veteran seat cover. We have the mermaid cell phone wallet case. And here we have uh, the deer hunting seat cover. So take a minute, collect yourself, and let me know in the comments what your guess is. Which design is the one that sold over $10,000 in sales? Uh, let me know right now. I'll give you five seconds, okay? Five, four, three, two, two, not, not one, one, right? So all these designs, um, I tried to sell, okay? Tried to sell all of them. Uh, this one here, the mermaid one is not uh, the one that worked. This one completely flopped. I never sold a single unit of this product. Uh, I did some testing and had a little bit of interest and it completely flopped. I never sold a single unit. Same thing with this one here. I, I tried to test this one. I had some good like engagement and stuff, but I was never actually uh, able to get anybody to buy it. I made zero sales on this one here. And like I said, sometimes that, I've said this on my channel before, sometimes that happens, right? You can't go into print on demand thinking that you're going to always, you know, strike it, strike it rich or something like that. Um, this one here also was a complete failure. I never sold a single unit of this. This was the uh, hunting cell phone wallet case. And this one here is not our 10K design, uh, but I did sell a bunch of these. I tried this back in... I don't even know, a lot, probably 2017 at this point. Um, and I sold it with, which is four years ago, believe it or not. But I, I sold a lot of this with, um, with Instagram influencers where I was actually uh, sh sending a photo of myself wearing the hat to influencers to get them uh, to to promote it, right? This was a, uh, a design that I sold a bunch of. I did sell a little bit with Facebook ads too, uh, but much more uh, with Instagram. It was not our uh, number one design. This one here though is the one. Uh, this one I sold over $10,000 in sales with um, a little bit more than that, actually pretty close to 20, I think. Uh, but really cool design. For veterans, uh, seat cover. Like I said, this has been a go-to product for me. Uh, every time though that I talk about a product, whether it is a seat cover or a hooded blanket or something like that, I see a whole bunch of people uh, immediately start to sell it, right? If you're a member of the POD Ninjas Facebook group, maybe you're even watching this video there. Uh, but if you're not a member of the POD Ninjas Facebook group and you're watching this on YouTube, a lot of times what I see is as soon as I talk about a product, I see a whole bunch of people trying to replicate exactly uh, what I was doing. Now, this product I don't think is a great match for every niche, right? I think there's going to only be certain niches that might be interested in something like this, right? Because this is kind of an over the top product. It's going in someone's car. It's also relatively expensive for the most part you're not going to be able to find these uh, for under $60 right as a customer as for us as sellers they're like $34.99 if you're using the pillow profits app uh, but they're kind of an over-the-top product and for that reason I think you're only going to be able to sell it to certain niches so take a look at your niche don't go immediately rushing to sell a seat cover uh, like I said a lot of times when I talk about specific products here uh, a lot of people rush to try and sell it but this is the one that uh, made a made a bunch of sales right And if you're watching this video and you're new to my content and you want to watch more of this stuff definitely check out uh, my YouTube channel also if you are watching this on YouTube uh, scroll into the description there's a whole bunch of resources there. You can join the POD Ninjas Facebook group. I do weekly live stream training there every single week. You can also start my free print on demand course to help you to get your store set up on Shopify. Uh, and there's there's likely a whole bunch of other stuff there uh, in the description. And if you are watching this on Facebook, drop a like, uh, comment something on it, say hello. Uh, and uh, that's the design, folks. Hopefully you like this style of video and let me know if you got it right. Uh, you guys were commenting throughout the video. Let me know if you got it right, uh, and, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.